Hello guys, so it's official there's going to be a season 3 of Screen to TV series and we know that there's a new killer out there. So on this video I will be revealing 3 possible suspects who might actually be the killer in season 3. So for those of you who haven't seen the Halloween special, please keep in mind that there will be spoilers on this video. So if you haven't seen the Halloween special and don't want any spoilers, please do not watch this video, you have been warned. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time, without further ado, let's begin. Before I reveal my top 3 suspects, here's a few things that you have to know about this new killer. First of all, it is possible, my theory, but it is possible that the killer that called Kieran at the end of season 2 could be the killer that killed Kieran in the Halloween special, might also be the killer in this new season of season 3. Another thing that I have to mention is that this new killer is over 6 foot tall. Kieran was 6 foot tall but this new killer was taller than Kieran so this person is real strong, he is tall and he is athletic. He was even able to kill the security guard, the guard at the prison. He was easily able to twist the guy's neck. He killed him in a matter of seconds and he easily was able to kill Kieran also so fast. So with this information that we know so far, I'm going to use it to determine who could be the prime suspect. So for each of these characters that I have on this list, I will be giving my personal theories, ideas on each of these killers why they might actually be the killer in season 3 and what kind of motive would they have to kill Kieran. So let's begin. Number 3, Brandon James. Now hear me out. Yeah, we know that Brandon James is known to be the Lakewood slasher in Lakewood. But there's not a lot of information that we know about the 1994 murders. It was hinted in season 2 that Brandon James could in fact still be alive. If Brandon was in fact the killer of the 1994 murders, his motive for killing is because of all the neglect that he's had in his life and because he couldn't start a relationship with Maggie. That's probably the reason why Brandon snapped on the night of Halloween in 1994. Now, why would Brandon kill Kieran? Uh, it is now this is my idea, but let's just say that Brandon didn't really like the idea that Kieran was using the mask in order to kill Franz and even try to kill Emma, daughter of Maggie. Brandon probably wasn't pleased with the idea of Kieran using the mask. Also, it's also hinted at the end of season two when Kieran got the call. Who said you can get? Who, who said you can wear my mask? referring to the mask that originally belonged to Brandon James. Now when it comes to this new killer who is 6 foot tall, I doubt that Brandon James is over 6 foot tall. In the flashbacks of season 2, the flashbacks of Maggie and Sheriff Costa, we actually see Brandon James. We don't see his face but we see him in a hoodie. He appears to be a really skinny thin character. and. That was when Brandon was in his teen years. I doubt now if Brandon's an adult that he's over six foot tall. It doesn't really make much sense, at least not to me. But there is a chance, there's possibility that Brandon might actually in fact still be the killer, might be the killer in his upcoming season. He might actually be the original killer. There is some proof. At the end of season two, a knife is found pinned to a tree with one of Maggie's notes that Maggie left on the tree, the tree that Maggie used to send letters to Brandon. And the knife that was used to pin was the same knife that Brandon had during the flashbacks, the knife that was later buried during 1994. And plus also the call that Kieran received at the end of season 2 might actually hint that that probably could be Brandon James. Number 2. Troy James. Troy James is the older brother of Brandon. We know for a fact that Troy has always protected Brandon. We never see Troy in the flesh and we don't even know how he looks like or we never even heard him talk. At the end of the Halloween special, a mysterious man by the last name of Mr. James appears to be returning to Lakewood. Maybe, in my personal opinion, this mysterious man might actually be Troy James. Since Brandon, if he is alive, he might be disfigured, but Troy, I, I don't think so. Now, if Troy is the original killer of 1994 and, he, and if he did kill Kieran, his motive for killing would be that he was always tired. He was so tired of protecting Brandon. 
Maybe he was also bullied and harassed because he was related to Brandon. And maybe he probably also disapproved of the idea of Brandon liking Daisy, aka Maggie. Or who knows, maybe Troy also liked Maggie. And those things probably caused Troy to snap and kill all those five students. Now, if Troy is the killer, and if he did kill Kieran, what kind of motive would he have? It, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, but based on what we know, a reason for Troy to kill Kieran would be that Troy did not like the idea, did not like Kieran using the James property to commit murders. Kieran used the James home, he used the James pig farm to commit murders. He killed Jake, he killed the Mary Quinn Maddox in the pig farm and he used it all as a crime scene and probably Troy James didn't like that idea. Troy was the last remaining member of the James family to stay in Lakewood after the 1994 murders. We don't know where he went but he mysteriously left several years after the, the that happened. Maybe he could be over six foot tall, we don't really know, but maybe yeah he could be the one who returned to Lakewood. Now before I read my number one pick, my number one suspect, I want to let you guys know that this is the person that I believe could actually be the killer in season 3. This guy that I'm about to reveal might actually be the original killer of 1994. Number one has to be Kevin Duvall, Emma's father. We know that Kevin is one of the survivors of the 1994 murders. He is an alcoholic, he has a troubled past and he has to seek a lot of therapy after that. He was even neglecting Maggie. But also, I also want to let you guys know is that Kevin Duvall is actually over 6 foot tall, meaning that he potentially could be the killer. He he looks real strong. If you saw season 2 during the time that Kevin was in Lakewood while he was staying at the motel, he was actually getting drunk at a bar and he got in an altercation with a guy in the cl in the bar. He actually was able to beat up and quickly knock out a guy in a matter of seconds while being drunk. So just imagine if that was Kevin who broke in into that cell and killed that guard and killed Kieran. It makes a lot of sense. If Kevin was the original killer of 1994, his motive for killing is obviously because he was upset, he was jealous and he did not like the fact that his girlfriend at the time, Maggie was actually having a child with Brandon. Maggie slept with Brandon and that kind of shocked Kevin a lot. He was probably also disgusted at that fact. So he, he was probably also under the influence that night and he he killed those five students and ultimately Brandon got the blame. And maybe after all those years, Kevin still had resentment, still had some type of guilt over the entire thing. This probably explains why he left Lakewood in the first place. Now, if he is the original killer of 1994, what is his motive for killing Kieran? Well, there are two possible explanations for that. One of them is logical and the other one is probably my personal theory. but. The first one would have to be is that Kevin killed Kieran because he did not like the idea that that Kieran was using the Brandon James mask and all of that to kill friends uh, of Emma. He Kieran tried to kill Emma, so let's just say that Kevin didn't like that. So that's why he killed Kieran as a way of revenge. Another possible explanation is just my theory, but what if maybe? What if Kevin Duvall is the father of Eli. Eli, the cousin of Kieran, might actually be the stepson or the son of Kevin Duvall. Sometime when Emma was a little girl, Kevin left Lakewood. We don't know where he went, but what if? What if what if Kevin actually went to a different state and met a different woman? That woman potentially being Tina Hudson, Eli's mother. Although probably if this idea is true, this theory is true, Tina and Kevin never got married. They had a child named Eli. And because Tina was an alcoholic, Kevin was also an alcoholic. There was always financial problems going on between the two of them. Probably a reason why Eli actually had to develop the habit of breaking into people's homes to pretend to be someone else. 
It's even mentioned in season two when Eli was explaining that to his mother, calling, e e calling Tina's boyfriend or calling it your loser boyfriend. Maybe a reason, another reason why, if this theory is correct, why Kevin killed Kieran is probably because Kieran killed Eli. Whatever relationship Eli had with Kevin must have been one of the causes. Plus, also the idea that Kieran tried to kill Emma also. But if this second theory, this second idea is true, then maybe that would explain a lot. That would probably explain the reason why Eli was at the backyard staring at Daisy, uh, Emma's mother Maggie from far away on episode 10. But maybe if, if Kevin indeed is the killer, the original killer, after all these years of holding all of that guilt and all of that frustration, and it, with everything that has been happening, all the murders and stuff going on to Emma, Kevin probably feels he has no one else to blame. So that's why he probably snapped, killed Kieran. He has no one else to blame but Maggie and Brandon. So in conclusion, Kevin Duvall is the primary suspect who could potentially be the killer in season 3. So take it in consideration, this is just a theory so don't take it seriously. But I want to ask you guys a question, what are your top 3 suspects? Let me know. For those of you who have been watching my videos, I just want to say thank you. I will continue to upload videos on this channel horror movie related content, that kind of stuff, reviews, countdowns, etc. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see ya.